when Fox is this close, the only thing you have is dash. Like, the only things you have are dash, CC, and shield. A lot of Marts make the mistake to just jump here, and then they get clipped by the snare, and then they die. But I had the uh, awareness to pivot grab. This curve. Can somebody ban that guy, please? Gino, do your job as a moderator. Ah, messing up that skill. No! I suck. This is definitely curve. I'm pretty sure that was curve. So, uh, let's let's dissect that. Let's dissect that a little bit. All right. Um. So, um, when I start off with every Mart Fox game, like I always have like a little bit of check where I do a dash back grab, and I would have gone it there, but I fucked up my pivot grab. You know, technically pivot grab is a one frame input and. You can mitigate that by using JC grab and empty pivots, but just fuck up anyways. And but always important to have a plan B. You know, I did react, I did fuck up here with my pivot grab, uh, and I was like, oh shit, I fucked up. But I just in case, the worst case scenario is that Fox double shines me and I die at zero. And of course, I want to avoid that. So I I predicted it in advance that you could do that. He's gonna do a shine, and I kind of fast fall. A lot of Marts make the mistake to react to the shine and when you react to shine that's not enough time frankly and then they fast fall too late and now they're really down low this is this is a prediction and having mitigation tools like these will help you not get like die to cheap kills from fox and because of that i'm able to play more uh he sells for a bear which is not really the best choice i would say i, I mean like i get it like I would probably smash the IV up airs. Like, the buffer double jump was uh, me smash throwing left and up, just in case. Uh, to, like, cover... Because I, I, I like that direction. Generally, smash throwing up gets me out of uh, low percent up airs. And because he didn't handle this position correctly, where bear doesn't true combo, I was able to get a uh, fair reversal. And then get out a really quick uh, shield drop fair. And... That, that's 24% for not even winning a neutral interaction. And this is what I mean, again, that reversals against, uh, you know, foxes that don't know all their shit, it's huge. I, I fucked up my 
beginning opening and I was able to reverse my way out of the situation and now I just got like got like 80 but uh unfortunately I, I probably could have optimized this better um I, I tried to aim for like the weak hit affair but then I got tippered I think if I didn't hesitate here I probably could have gone a full hop neutral B combo to bandage this but I didn't even I, I kind of accepted, I since I didn't intend to get a, a tipper fair, I was like, oh shit. But in retrospect, I should have gone for full hop neutral B. So, oops. And, you know, when you land pretty, f when you whiff something like this, this is like pretty bad. You can't really cover too much here. I think if I didn't fast fall and I uh, got out of fair, maybe I could have gone something. But I'm not sure. It's a pretty icky spot. You generally don't. If you want to edge guard Fox, you had to set set up your jumps right. But because I was kind of forced to land out of not wanting to do full hop neutral B, I missed an easy kill confirm. Hey guys, if you guys are struggling with your slippy ranked games, I've got just the thing for you. Head on over for my Patreon, where even the five dollar tier has so much resources for improvement. If you're really looking to take your gameplay to the next level, I got some coaching on my Patreon and my Metafy. So check me out in the link below. Anyways, let's get back to the video. A little bit of a mistake, um, uh, and then I get reversed for it. So, you know, there's a fair amount of things that uh, I feel like Marth kind of di dictates how much reversals really happen in a sense that, you know, if you're not hitting your SDIs, you're going to get reversals. But also, if you don't hit your edge guards, a fox is going to reversal you. Uh, and that's why knowing you how to get like, hitting your edge guards is so, so, so important because if you don't hit them, then you're just gonna eat 50, you know? So, I feel like Mark does have, like, a lot of agency on, on how much reversals can happen. But at the same time, if you're not playing on point against a Fox, you, you, like, this is gonna happen a lot. And that's why warming up, being, uh, very aware, practicing your flow charts. Uh, all that very, very important. Because I didn't have to take, like, 50, 80 here if it weren't for uh, the missed combo that I did earlier. That being said, he messed up himself. I mean, the same thing could be said for Fox. Like, if they mess up, like, you know, they're going to get reversal. Such as that, uh, that full hop bear earlier. He didn't shield, and then I got a fair reversal stream. And then, like, you know, he tried, he thought he could go for a drill down tilt. It's not really the case. Uh, I reacted a little bit too late. But, uh, when they DI in, you can generally go for things like run off fair. He didn't know he could wall tech and, uh, get a stock. So, uh, there it felt like I, I got, like, 85% of my flow charts down. But if I got down, like, 10 extra, like, if I knew all of it, I would have just zeroed that thing. And, uh, it didn't. I didn't need to... I didn't need to take 100 for it. I do Invincible Ledge Dash. Pretty good. Make sure to back off. And, uh... As you see here, like, I backed off the center because Mark wants his space. Should try to not fight in scraps. And then, uh, as I got my space, I do a Shield Stop Fair. Nothing wrong with doing a shield stop fair when you have a lot of space, and that just ended up giving me a free hit. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do it again since they're giving me all this space. And, uh, sometimes you have to make the call. And I I knew I didn't really have enough time to get out an, uh, some kind of zoning tool, so my last my last kind of burst option is to do a pivot grab here, and that's how that's how I got this. Back end up till is what you really want to aim for for Fallon side plat. I mistimed it. The too early. Again, I missed time a lot of things and he was able to get a free up smash. So I'm not super technically on point. I catch his dash dance here. Uh, I catch his landing of up tilt. I probably shouldn't have done this. This was a little greedy. So this up tilt was good. Uh, after after I do the following up there, I should probably dash rather than greed with, with a short hop fair. If I dash his center, I'm, I or even like dash back to the corner. I think that's a more conservative way of playing it out. I just took a little bit more of a risk and I paid for it here. And uh so like that that was a little risky that I did. It got me hit. 
And uh, again, this is like kind of me not... Uh, it's like, this could have worked. Another greed play, but kind of reasonable. If I wanted to play it more conservatively, I could dash. So, I think this up tilt ultimately wasn't incorrect. It just so happens that I took percent for it. I, I guess I should have been ready to hold down or uh, smash the eye, which I did. So, I don't mind the up tilt that much. It's probably better to dash there, but like only by a little bit. So, I don't hate that up tilt. Uh, at the end of the album, I got a reversal. And that's always sick. I meant to do a turnaround up tilt, but I messed up the input. Which is why like I shield him like oh shit. Uh <laughs> I get out though. That's fine. Again. Very gotta always be make the most out of any stage that you any space that you have. Like when Fox is this close, the only thing you have is dash. And I made sure to dash. Like the only things you have are dash, CC, and shield. A lot of Marts make the mistake to just jump here and then they get clipped by the snare and then they die. But I had the uh awareness to pivot grab. And then I played a 50-50. It's either he DI's out or he DI's in. I get that right. And uh I cr I waited correctly by forward smash way too early. That was a bad play by me. Like what the setup was all correct because he was far away, but I messed up my flow chart and here again because I messed up my flow chart. That's two stocks by now that uh because I messed up my flow charts it, it, it I got reversal for it. So that's probably one of the most common reasons why Mark loses his dog is because you fucked up your flow chart. Perfect ledge dash. He messes up. So I get a free chain grab tech chase. Crash tech chase. That's good. And then I read a tech roll. I like read act. Like I confirm that he tech rolls in because I notice that like, you know, every now and then like after, after a couple techs, uh, Eventually, they like doing a tech roll in to make it so then it's harder to react to a tech in place. So I just confirm that he techs rolls and then I get up tilt. Uh, usually it leads to a juicier follow up. It didn't in this case, but uh, there's also something important to note here is that while I did react to it, I actually reacted to this tech in place late. But because he didn't time his spot dodge or his shine perfectly, I was able to get uh, another tech chase follow up. So. In a sense, it's just kind of a little bit of a check and something that it's always a good practice for every spacey to practice tech and play shine, frankly. Uh, as frame perfectly as possible, I'm pretty sure there's an Uncle Punch mod for this where uh, where Sheik down throws and there's a tech tech in place uh, shine that you could do. Like the Sheik will be one frame late and just imagine how different this would have looked if he got a tech and play sh wave shine and then you know maybe he gets a zero to death but i instead get the grab a little bit fraudulent read a dim of down tilt and uh you know i could have edge guarded here this is basically when i knew that this was curved by the way it's like no one except for curve really hits those consistently uh but yeah Reversals happen all the goddamn time in this matchup, and it's hard for Mar to consistently tech chase, but it's only hard if you are able to time a shine properly. And because he did it, I was able to have a chance to get this edge guard. What I should have done, frankly, is uh, go out there and fair, because he's at that percent where even a double jump weak fair would probably kill him. So I should have gone for that. Uh, I was a coward, though. But he goes for a bear. It was a weak hit. I missed my up tilt, but I was able to bandage it properly. I knew I was late, so that's why I went back in and I was able to cover all of his options there. So there, he just outplayed me. Okay, like, it is possible for Fox to outplay Mark. Uh, you know, zoning, even though I'm giving a lot of space, this is, probably, this is like the best that it gets. You know, I thought I could double down tilt. That's not the case. But that's always information later on. It's like, oh, okay, he's going to try to find a way inside my zoning. So instead of that second down tilt I, I attempted, next time I could do fair down tilt dash back grab or fair weight dash back grab. Um, you know, it's going to happen that you get outplayed. And the best you could do is, you know, keep it in mind in future interactions. 
Uh, that was a reach. I really should not have done that. So after that fair, I really should have just done like a pivot nair here. A pivot nair would be a great pressure tool, and then I could have done a shield drop fair. It may, if I was a badass, I'd platform cancel that fair. This was a perfect pressure spot for me, given the balance side platform height, but I didn't do that. And uh, yeah, I got reversal for it. Don't, don't, I, I could have played that better for sure. And that was also me panicking. I could have. I thought that he would move in, but he didn't do that. I, I shouldn't have done it this percent range because even though if I, in theory, I were to hit that at forward smash, I could kill him. But also, I'm at that scary percent range where he could probably kill me. Granted, it would take him like probably two more extra interactions for him to kill me, but I didn't need to take that risk. I could have played it a lot safer. Because, like, you know, there was that up tilt interaction that I didn't mind because even if it failed, which it did fail, I didn't really eat that much for it, but this I could eat a lot for it, and I probably shouldn't have gone. If I was the better player, I could, you know, zone him out, like with fair, fair down tilt and outplay from there. But I kind of go for a gamble that. It's very costly, but because a lot of Fox just don't know how to edge guard, uh, I was able to reversal him anyways. But so this was like, in many ways, just like a knowledge check on his flow charts. Like he didn't know what to do after up throw bear. He didn't know how to edge guard side B. Uh, he didn't know. He didn't always tech and play shine perfectly. So and that that's what you could get away with a lot as Mark and. While you could get set wins off of that, that's not exactly a consistent way. How I would go a lot more about a consistent way of winning against, you know, every fox is getting down your flow charts right. Uh, not gambling needlessly. Uh, you know, take your space, zone well off of it. Uh, but overall, despite not really like i don't personally approve of winning this way every single time it is important because you're not going to play perfectly all the time you're not going to play your best all the time uh you got to make the most out of your reversals you got to check them and it's on them at the end of the day like if they don't know then it's just a skill gap right so you know i just took advantage of the fact that you didn't know a lot of stuff and i won because of that